Teresa Wisnum, and today I'm going to show you the Asian freestyle donut muzzle here on Dutch, which is an oversized toy poodle. Now I've already started by roughing in the cheek coat since we don't have a lot of time, and I did take a 4F, and I took that from about the halfway point of the bottom of the eyelid, and I ran that all the way over to the ear canal, and that was on both sides. And then I took it just to about the V of the throat and skimmed it down the front of the throat, okay? And that sets your, your cheeks in. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and clip out the stop in between the eyes. And I'm gonna use a 10. You can use a 10 or if you'd like, you can use thinning shears, whatever your preference is. And I'm gonna bring that top knot coat out of the way and I'm just gonna clip a very, very thin line in between the eyes. You can go ahead and clear just a little bit of the eye channels, the eye drainage channels if you'd like. And as you can see, very, very thin area right there. Just a nice skinny line. Don't come too forward on the bridge of the nose. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shave the chin. He doesn't have a lot of chin coat because I just groomed him recently. But you do want to get brave here. Don't be too conservative. You're going to want to take that chin coat very short. So you're going to want to use something like a 5F in reverse, maybe a 7F in reverse, a 10 forward, something nice and short so that you can accomplish the round donut. And I will use a 7F. And coming forward from the back completely to the front. Come here, sweetie. Clip nice and clean. You don't have to lift the, lit, the uh, edges of the lips there to clean off the sides. We need a, a buffer there to build our oval. Once you've got that, it's time to scissor. And you're just going to puff this muzzle up. And with your shears, either straights or curved, it's your choice. Come here, sweetie. You're going to hold your shears at a 45 degree angle, OK? Here's straight up. Here, straight across, bisect that in half, and you've got 45 degrees. And you're going to do that on both sides. Take a look and make sure that the muzzle rises up at the same angle on both sides, all right? Once you do that, then we can block in the top. And you're going to once again puff that muzzle up. You're going to nestle your shears right in that void that you created when you clipped out the stop. And you're just going to trim outward at a 45 degree angle. Good boy. Come here. I know there's a lot going on out there. All right, so what we've effectively done is we've blocked in the donut, okay? We've trimmed off the cheeks. We've trimmed off the chin. We've set our sides, and we've set our top. And now all we need to do is just round it up and get a nice oval shape. I like to work with a very fine tooth comb so I can pick up all of those little stray hairs that pop up. And all I'm going to do now is just round this up, always working from the bottom up to the top. And then on the other side as well. And then re-fluff with your comb. Make sure you're getting everything. Come here, sweetie. Dutch is a little distracted, but we're doing our best here. Mm 
And just keep shaping until you get a nice oval donut. Make sure that you don't take it too far in. When you're looking at the dog head on, the side of the donut muscle should be in line, ideally, with the side of the cheeks, the side of the skull. Come here. And just keep on scissoring and whittling away. I'm using only the points, the very tips of my shears, to take little bits of coat at a time. It's all right. You're fine. Good boy. Good boy. It's all right. And you want to get a nice crisp outline on that. You're okay. Come here. And then just make sure that both sides are even and you've got consistency from side to side. All right. And then the last thing you want to do when you're happy with the shape of your muzzle which I could do a little bit more tweaking on him, but since Dutch is low on patience and there's a lot of distractions here at Hershey, I'm gonna um, leave it at this. But the last thing that we're gonna wanna do when we've got a nice oval shape on his muzzle is we want to expose the black pigment under his nose and the um, front edge of his lips. And that just makes, gives it a nice clean look and it also emphasizes the cuteness, gives him kind of a little teddy bear pout. To do that, I'm gonna take a 40. And you can just kind of take your fingers and slide that hair back and go right underneath each nostril and then the front edge of the bottom lip as well. If your dog is particular about that, very ticklish, you can't get near them with the 40, then you can also do it with thinning shears. Some of them don't mind the thinning shears as much as they mind that vibrating 40 right against their lips. And once you do that, you're going to see some hairs that need tightening up there. And you can use thinners to do that. Just watch for his tongue. You don't want him sticking his tongue out at an inopportune time. And you're just going to come right across this front plane with your thinners. And you're going to neaten that up. And try and stay in this flat plane, flat plane right across the front of the lips. If you come in at too steep of an angle this way, it will look fine today when the coat is properly stretched um, and fluffy. But as the curl starts to set in a couple of days later or, or the next day, it's going to really shrink and you will have kind of a pointier snout. So you want to make sure that you stay on that flat plane. And then if he'll let me, I'm just going to neaten up just a little bit more here on the top. The goal when you're doing the top of the muzzle is you just want to uncover, of course, those little button eyes, but you don't want to uncover them and, and trim the bottom so low that you also uncover the underneath of the eye. You just want to cover a little bit of a sliver of the bottom of the eye. And then check your work. I know, sweetheart. You're fine. And there you have your donut muzzle.